Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video presents winds and its types. Wind is a movement of air in a horizontal direction to the surface of the earth. It is directly controlled by the difference in air pressure. Wind blow from high to low pressure belts. The velocity of winds depends on the steepness of the pressure gradient. What is pressure gradient? Differences in horizontal distribution of atmospheric pressure drives the winds from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. The rate of change of pressure per unit distance is called pressure gradient. The force applied by pressure gradient to drive winds is known as pressure gradient force. The vertical movement of air is generally known as air current. Coriolis effect Wind blow from regions of high pressure towards the area of low pressure. The rotation of the earth causes a change in the direction of flow. The deviation of the wind movement is called Coriolis effect. Farrell's law Due to Coriolis effect, winds in the northern hemisphere deflect it towards its right and the movement becomes clockwise. But in the southern hemisphere, the deflection is to the left and winds move anticlockwise. This type of deflected movement is known as Farrell's law. Types of wind Winds can be divided into three types. Number one, planetary wind. Number two, periodic wind. Number three, local wind. Planetary wind also can be divided into three types. Trade wind, westerlies, polar easterlies. Again, periodic wind can be divided also three types, monsoon wind, land and sea breeze, mountain and valley breeze. Planetary wind. The winds that blow from high pressure belts to low pressure belts are called planetary wind. It's also known as prevailing wind. Trade wind. The winds blowing from subtropical high pressure belts towards the equatorial low pressure belt are called trade winds. Some of the following characteristics of trade wind are number one, in the northern hemisphere, trade wind blow from northeast, and in the southern hemisphere, blow from southeast. Number two, as the trade wind blow from tropics to equator, they go on getting hotter and have the tendency to move upwards. They generally do not produce rain. Number three, the trade wind blow with great regularity and steadiness. They are strongest during winter and weakest during summer. The velocity of the wind is 16 to 24 km per hour. ITCZ Intertropical Convergence Zone is the zone where the trade winds of the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere come together. Hadley Shell Circulation Hadley Shell named after George Hadley Hadley shell are composed of moist warm air rises into the atmosphere above the equator and is the source of warm temperature and rainfall in the equatorial region. Westerlies Winds blow from subtropical high and subpolar low from the west are called westerlies. Some of the following characteristics of westerlies are number one. In the northern hemisphere, westerlies blow from southwest to northeast direction, while in the southern hemisphere, they blow from northwest to southeast direction. Number two, westerlies dominate between 40 to 65 degree latitudes in the southern hemisphere. These latitudes are identified as roaring 40s, furious 50s, and shrinking 60s by the navigators. The westerlies are also commonly known as brave west winds. Number three, as westerlies blow from hotter latitudes to colder latitudes, they generally bring rain all the year round. Polar easterlies move from high poles to subpolar low pressure belts. These are deflected by the Earth's rotation to become east wind or the polar easterlies. Periodic winds. Sometimes winds change their direction with the change of season or time. Such winds are called 
periodic winds. It can be divided into monsoon wind, land and sea breezes, and mountain and valley breezes. Monsoon winds. The monsoon is a seasonal modification of the general planetary wind system. Monsoon winds are most powerful in India and China. Land breeze. At night, land gets cooler more quickly as a result of rapid radiation than the adjoining sea. This results high pressure over the land and low pressure over the sea. Wind starts blowing from land to sea and is called land breeze. Sea breeze. During the daytime, land gets heated more than the adjacent sea and low pressure develops over the land. The warm air over the land being lighter moves upward and its place is taken over by the cooler air coming from the sea. This is called sea breeze. Mountain breeze. At sunset due to rapid radiation, the air on the mountain slopes cool faster than the air at the valley bottom. The cool air being heavier begins to come down along the mountain slopes and displaces the warm air upwards. This type of winds are called mountain breeze. Valley breeze. As sun rises, the rays of the sun first fell over the mountain tops and by the time the sun rays reach the valley bottom, the air at the top of the mountain gets warm and moves upward by conventional current. To fill up the vacuum, the cool air from the valley bottom blows in. It is called valley breeze. Local winds. Some winds which affect small areas and are restricted to lower level of troposphere. These winds are developed mainly as a result of local differences of temperature and pressure. For example, low wind in India. So friends, if you like my video then don't forget to subscribe, like and share my channel. Thanks for watching my video.